today we are going to finish cleansing the Grenegar temple. What a mess! Where's the maid when you need her? The second level has two werewolves and a beast. There's not much I can say about werewolves that haven't already been said, but the addition of the beast makes this fight pretty tough, especially if you're trying to keep Shang from dying. The trick here is to kill each werewolf and then rest at the inn and then go back for the beast. I've tried the hit and run technique on the beast, but it did not work well because for some reason he actually heals between battles. And I ended up wasting 50 gold at the end because of that. Also, this fight is very frustrating. The fact of being on the second level of the temple means that target selection becomes even harder. I have to try fumbling with the keyboard controls because the mouse just becomes non-functional up here, almost. What a mess! Where's the maid when you need her? And I think this is the level where I discover that you can accidentally heal an enemy. Because for some reason, the game likes to assume that you are targeting the beast whenever you select a magic spell. In short, this level is really tedious, difficult, and unfun to play. Yeah, and the beast can use the deadlock spell as well, which is why I'm glad we invested in some magic for Ajavan. Otherwise, we'd be toast. What a mess! Where's the maid when you need her? And finally, we work on taking out the beast. Use deadlock on him. It's a general rule to keep in mind. If something's a bit difficult, use deadlock. Unless it's like a wizard or something that specializes in magic, then you're kind of screwed. I accidentally used cancellation instead of deadlock on the beast there. Whoops. Also, I have just weakened the beast. I lied before, weaken doesn't really do what it says on the tin. It actually increases the enemy's endurance, but it lowers all of their other stats. That means that the monster will have more hit points, but he'll be easier to take down. And he won't hit as hard. And another funny thing about Weaken, once it kills, once you kill the enemy, the enemy just stands back up again with one hit points and their maximum hit points reduced. So you have to finish him off with a dagger after that. I'm not sure why that's even there. But you do what you gotta do. See, like right there. Just stands right back up with one hit point. So just equip your dagger and finish him off. Ugh, I've seen enough creatures for one day. Me too, Azurvan. And our reward for doing all that? Is there anything else you would like to know? Tell me more about Gra- I managed to get rid of vermin in the temple. That's excellent, Azjavan. 
Here's your reward. Granagar gives you this many gold pieces. Tell me more about Gr Goodbye. That's it. 250 gold. And here is another encounter I would like to show you. Well, not this encounter in particular, the one right after it. It's just that typically these guys are in your way on your way to the next encounter. Anyway, I think we spent more than 250 gold just resting at the inn in between encounters. Mean, which means that whole side quest was a complete waste of time, except for, well, the experience. So to all you new players, I suggest you skip that quest. It's not worth it. And I didn't even show you all the times that I had to reload because of Shang dying. But the real encounter is right here. I decided to speed this up because we already know all about skeletons and armored skeletons. And besides, the battle music sounds hilarious at this speed. There is a treasure chest behind these skeletons, and I'm going to show you what's inside. The strategy is to take out the armored skeleton first. The regular one isn't going to do much harm to you. And I ended up taking the regular one out anyway, because it is just so weak. Some assorted loot, but more importantly, another mysterious rune. We just have to find the statue that it plugs into. And now we are going to go to the ruins of Agath. It's over in the west, above Mildrew. Getting there can be kind of difficult, because the path to it is kind of hidden in the forest. And as you're about to see, I get kind of lost. See, I did look at the walkthrough to try to figure out uh, where it was, but I ended up tripping myself up again because I'm like, is it this dead tree or this dead tree that I'm supposed to go past? And the random encounters don't make this any easier, trust me. Got stuck here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the little pop-up tells us where to go. Thank you. Thank you so much, developers, for including that one tip. Whew. That shouldn't have been as difficult as it was. The Temple of Agath. It's a place of a great catastrophe. It's emblazoned with legends of powerful wizards that used to dwell here, but nowadays it's just a ruin. According to legend, this is where Lord Enakan opened the gate to the realm of demons. They fled, leaving just ruins and mass graves behind. I can't go any further, Ajavan. 
You go alone. I'll wait here for you. Both Shang and Fridge don't want to go into the temple, because it's supposedly haunted. It's a strange atmosphere here, as if there's something that's not quite right. Yeah, this game just loves throwing skeletons at us. I contemplated speeding this one up too, because again, we already know what to do to fight skeletons, but I figured since this is a fixed encounter, I should show it. Well, a fixed encounter that's part of a quest, I mean. Not like the other fixed encounter. And there is a treasure chest over in the corner. It contains some modest loot which should help us. We got a spell recipe. And no, we do not have the runes for it yet. Don't mind the cut here. Go back, mortal, to where you came from, or join our eternal curse. Huh, what do we do? Go back to where we came from, or join the eternal curse? Let's join the eternal curse. Same as the last battle with an armored skeleton and a skeleton. Weaken the armored skeleton first. The other one can't scratch you. I find that spells seem to work better than physical attacks against skeletons. I guess that makes sense. Cause skeletons are magic creatures. Bleeding doesn't work on them, so just ignore all your physical attacks that have bleeding effects. Don't forget to heal yourself regularly either, that armored skeleton hits really hard sometimes. I also picked up some new spells from the mage in Grenagar before coming here. There's lightning spells. What we just saw was lightning discharge, which is the same as fire shot, but with lightning damage instead of fire damage. Yes, there's elemental damage in Neverend. How are you supposed to figure out which attack works on which enemy? I don't know. Aside from the obvious ones like don't use mind attack on a mindless creature. Once the armored skeleton's down, the fight's already been won. Just get rid of the 
regular skeleton. You can easily take him out with the dagger, it's a lot faster. And we gain a skeleton axe. You cannot conquer death. Run if you want to live. The scroll from Grenegar? Damn, now I've got to destroy them once again. Yeah, we have to fight these guys again. Thank God we leveled up so I don't have to use our tent. But it's second verse, save as the first. It should be easier now that we've gained a level. They actually do give you a chance to leave the temple so you can heal up, so you don't have to really fight these guys two times in a row, just two times. And no, the scroll from Grenegar is not a consumable item. You don't have to activate it. The second time you finish the fight, it should take care of the skeletons on its own. I know this because I tried looking for ways to activate the scroll. And I kept looking at the walkthrough being like, how do I do this? You just have to fight the skeletons again. A simple, stupid solution. For simple, stupid me. Another thing about lightning spells, we also have lightning shot. Which is really easy to get confused with lightning discharge. Lightning shot also stuns the enemy temporarily. Here I use one of our spell scrolls in battle. It doesn't activate the spell right away, it just... lets Ajavan learn it the same way she would if she used it outside of battle, only it takes up a turn. That was advanced healing you just saw. We gain another skeleton axe. There must be a whole barrel of these things somewhere. And now we can grab the Rune of Agath. Finally, it's the Rune of Agath. They're just bones, nothing interesting. Like I said before, we're taking the rune to Donexian. We can leave this place now. Great. I really don't like staying here any longer than we have to. You wouldn't have been here so long if you would help us, Shang. And there's another encounter in the Agath area, which you shouldn't ignore. Go to the Higher Monk and the Monk Apprentice. We've already fought these kinds of enemies before. 
they're really easy to take down right now. Especially after we gain the level from fighting those skeletons. got another monastic decree on them. But more importantly, behind them is a statue. This statue corresponds to one of the mysterious runes that we have. But now we go back to Denexian. What else? Do you need? Tell me more about the town. I've got the rune you wanted. Great. Now I can make you the potion you need. But first, we have to help each other. <laughs> what do you mean? I can finish the potion only by using the Stone of Sages. That means you have to help me become the next town guardian. Okay. And how can I do that? <laughs> Simple. All you have to do is ruin the healer's reputation. <laughs> is there anything else you would like to know? Tell me more about Grenegar. Tell me more about the Town Guardian. Just ask. I'm happy to answer your questions. What's the point in electing a Town Guardian? Each year, during the celebration of the Goddess of Wisdom, a new Town Guardian is elected. He will gain honor amongst the people, as well as in the Council of the Elders. The Council, which elects him, allows him to use an ancient heritage of Grenegar, the Stone of Sages. This year, we will choose between the healer Anexian and the mage Donexian. Tell me more about Anexian. Anexian is our famous healer. He regularly wins the elections, but this year it won't be that easy. Why won't it be that easy this year? It's starting to get dangerous outside Grenegar. The city needs a healer to take care of us, but we also need someone to protect us. The Nexian is master of strong spells, which could be of great assistance. That's why I'm considering leaving my decision until the last moment. What are Denexian's chances? This year, Denexian has a bigger chance of being elected. The town needs someone to protect it. It's starting to get dangerous outside. So you think that Denexian will win? No, I didn't say that. The town needs a good healer as well. I haven't made up my mind yet. What's the Stone of Sages? The Stone of Sages is an ancient heritage of our ancestors. He who controls it can use its powers during the celebration of the Goddess of Wisdom. During that day, its wielder is gifted with increased magical abilities. He usually uses them to create protective spells for Grenegar or strong medicines. When does the celebration begin? The celebration does not have a specified beginning. Right now, we cannot agree on it. It will start as soon as Beyan and Feijin decide who to vote for. Feijin's convinced about voting for the Nexian, and Beyan has always voted for Anexian. 
talk to them if you want to know more. When does goodbye? Who are you going to vote? I keep my decision to the last moment, and I never share it with anyone. When does goodbye? So we have to talk to the worst character in the game again. But don't worry, this will all be worth it. I'd like to talk to you again. Go on. Yes, go on. What would you like to know? I'd like to talk about the city guardian. Guardian? Oh, yes. Yes, uh, now I remember. What would you like to know about him? To whom will you submit your vote? My vote? To an Exion or you, of course. Why are you on an Exion's side? An Exion is the only one who can take care of it. He always has some good medicine ready for me. Why are you on an Exion? Medicine won't keep you safe from your enemies. But it helps us to get rid of diseases and wounds. My vote belongs to an Exion. He has never disappointed me so far. Why are you- What's your problem with Denexian? I have no problem with Denexian. But his witchcraft hasn't helped me so far. On the other hand, Denexian medicine? Well, let's see that really works for sure. Why are you- What can you tell me about the Stone of Sages? It is an ancient heritage of our ancestors. During the celebration of the Goddess of Wisdom, it increases the magical abilities of the one who is responsible for it. Thanks to that, an Exion will be able to make strong medicine for us all. That will last us for a whole year. Why? What? Let's talk. Good day, old man. I'd like to talk to you again. I'd like to talk about. Is everything all right? Is there nothing that worries you? Uh, of course there is something. It's my pain again. My bones. I'm not what they used to be, young lady. I guess the healer and Exion could help you, right? Yes, of course. He could help me. But I'm just too tired to visit him. Could you go there and bring me my medicine? Of course, old man. Don't worry. I'll be right back. That's good. That's really good. Go and tell Anexia that you want old Bale's medicine. I'll give it to you. Is there anything else I can do for you? Bayan sends me. He needs his medicine. Oh, again? Here it is. Take it to him. I want to see the... Goodbye. Before I give this medicine to the old jerk, I'll need to adjust it to suit my needs. We get to poison the worst character in the game. Let's go to the shop and... Let's, um, improve Anexian's medicine a little bit. <laughs> now his medicine is going to be full of boiling oil. So, do you have my medicine already? Here it is. Medicine straight from an Exion. Good. Please hand it to me. I need some relief for my old bones. 
What is this? What did an Exion mix into this potion? Oh, what a pain. What's the matter? An Exion sent you this special medicine. Doesn't it work? No, it doesn't. On the contrary. Uh, I'd say he's trying to poison me. I can tell you this, young lady. The next scene has lost my vote of confidence. The celebration of the Goddess of Wisdom is about to start. During the process, we will elect a new town guardian. That wasn't a cut. The game literally just teleports you outside. Ajevan, only citizens of Grenegar can join in this celebration. You mean I can't even watch? Ajevan, you have to understand that you are not permitted to see the celebration. Okay, but what if I manage to get in anyway? Then you would be taken away. So yeah, we don't even get to see a celebration. Hot! No standards are allowed to enter Grenegard join the celebration of the Goddess of Wisdom! When does the celebration end? The celebration ends in the late night. So your best bet is to leave the city and just put down a tent. I was never quite able to figure out how the passage of time works in this game, but... One tent equals one night. That's all I need to know. What happened? You're not going to stop me? The Council of the Elders have lifted the ban on entering the town. You are afraid to come and go? As you please. Ha! The Council's elected me for Town Guardian. Yes, I know it. Now can you give me that drink for Ravik? Here you go. The council has elected Denexian. I cannot make you the medicine anymore. Hmm, never mind. I'll manage it on my own. Most of all, Ajivan, don't choose the wrong path. I want to see the go goodbye. Hey, vote for change. Vote for Denexian. Sounds like the right path to me. I'd like to talk to you. I'd like to talk about how was the celebration of the Goddess of Wisdom. Donexian won this year. Even I gave him my vote. I'll never again vote for that charlatan and Nexian. You almost poisoned me. I'd like to good day, old man. Too bad he didn't die. So my choice is confirmed. Donexian will be a good Tangodian. Is there anything- Tell me more about goodbye. And now, things are about to get really weird. Trust me. Please hurry to find the healer. Ravit won't live long. I was in Grenegar and I found an Exion. Wonderful. There is still a chance to save Ravik. Do you have the medicine? Well, I have a potion that will bring Ravik on his feet. Come on, quick! Ravik is over there in the next room, and he doesn't have much time left. Yeah, shit is about to get pretty fan fiction-y in here. Let's just wait for this old woman to slowly enter the room. So patient, open up your mouth. Mummy's gonna give you some medicine. There's already been fanfiction written about that one line of dialogue, I bet. Oh, 
What is it? Who's calling me? Ha! Welcome, my dear. I'm Ajavan, and you're going to lead me through the swamp to the north. What happened? What did you do to my son? You are a witch. Silence, woman. If you ever want to see your son again, stop wagging your tongue. I'm warning you. You didn't hear? My mistress said silence! Oh, my only son. By the gods, what did she do to you? Stop yakking already. Ravik, dress up. We're leaving. Say hello to Mama. Blah. My sentiments exactly. Now you know why I chose the evil karma option. We are going to see you next time. Oh my god, this shit is weird.